Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing for you. I just got this in the mail today. Um, it's a nice big Sephora box. So I just wanted to open it up. So I wanted to show you guys and do this unboxing right now. A couple things that I ordered. Um, the first one that was the Sephora brand solid brush cleaner. And I've heard good things about this. I wanted to give it a shot. But you open it up and it has the little silicone scrubby pad that has all the little bumps and then it also has the solid soap and from what I understand is you get your brush a little bit like dampen it in water and then you rub it around on the soap and then you rub it on the silicone and rinse it and it's supposed to really help clean out your brushes which I've been looking for a different way of cleaning them because right now I have a spray and I'm not a fan of just spraying and rubbing so I thought I would give this a shot. The next thing that I have in here is the Origins Perfect World Antioxidant Moisturizer with White Tea. I had a sample of this that I've been using and I really, really liked how it worked and how it felt. I use this as my night cream and it's one that it was a little heavier than what I would normally wear for the daytime, but because it is that, it really worked for me for night cream and I really liked my sample so I went ahead and ordered the full size package of it and it comes in a little jar just like this, um, very similar to my Ginseng moisturizer. So I bought that for my nighttime moisturizer. The next thing that I got was the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I got it in the color Double Dare, which is a really, really pretty, um, it's described as a cocoa blush, but I would almost describe it as like a really pretty medium pink. And I really like the new formula. I like how they go on. I like how they wear. So I figured I would give this a shot before trying different colors. And there's actually one thing I do want to try with it is the ombre lip effect with a couple different colors. And if I really like this formula, then I'm going to order the brighter and the darker color to go with it. The next one that I think that I got is the Urban Decay Subversion Thicker, Longer, Stronger Lash Primer. I also had a sample of this, gave it a shot, really, really liked it. Um, I have a hard time with some lash primers only because they, I have very tiny, tiny lashes. So sometimes primers don't really work at all. They just make my lashes thicker and it looks clumpy, but it's really not clumpy, if that makes any sense. And I gave this a shot when I had the sample and I really, really liked it. And as you can see, it has, it looks like little fibers on it and it's, claims that it's conditioning and it worked for me. It came off very easily whenever I washed my face off. It didn't come off during the day, but it was something that I did like how it stayed on my lashes and it made my lashes look longer. The next thing I got, and I figured I would give it a shot, is the Smashbox Try It Kit, which it has the Photo Finish Primer Water, the 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer, the Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And I wanted to try a couple things in this kit. I wanted to try the Under Eye Primer and the Primer Water, but I didn't want to buy the full sizes. And when I saw this kit online, I figured, what the heck, let's give it a shot. Because, I mean, if the worst case scenario and I don't like it, I only had a sample size. I didn't have the big size and wouldn't have to return it. The next thing I got is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup Foundation. I have the concealer, which I showed in my, I think I showed in my summer must-haves. And so I went ahead and I ordered the foundation also. I'm the shade 3.5, but, you know, you pull it out of the box and it looks like this. You take it off. One difference is that it is a medium, um coverage but it is buildable and it always kind of reminds me of spray paint because whenever you have to shake it it kind of sounds like you're shaking up a can of spray paint it is a little bit liquidy of a foundation but again it is buildable and it is easy to apply it doesn't not really goopy when I had a sample of this that I tried it stayed on pretty much for the entire day for me with no touch-ups next thing that I got was the origins original skin renewal serum with willow herb this is their new line, the Original Skin line. It is designed for people with ages like 20s, 30s, who have that changing skin where you no longer really have problematic skin, but your skin is no longer dry or completely normal. You might still have some blemishes or some um, oily patches or dry patches or whatever. Um, the last time I ordered my ginseng moisturizer, I was sent a two-week sample supply of this, and I really, really liked it. It made my pores look smaller, made my face look a little bit brighter. It helped clean up some blemishes that I had, 
it didn't over oil oily areas, it didn't dry out dry areas or normal areas, and it was just a really, really great consistency. It went on really smoothly, and I really liked wearing that day and night right before I put on my moisturizer. The next thing that I got was I got a Sephora eyeliner. I got it, it's this really, really pretty gray color. It is called Starry Sky. It has a little bit of a glitter to it, as you can kind of see. And I really, really like how, there we can do that. I like the tone of it. I like that it's a little bit of a darker gray. It's not quite a super, super light gray. And, but I really, really liked the shade of gray. It's not quite a super silvery, but it isn't quite a super dark boring gray. It's almost like a mercury gray, which I really liked. And the last thing that I actually bought, aside from my samples, is I had to get some new of the Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. I actually went and I got the big pump bottle, only because this size will probably last me about a year, um, maybe a little bit less, but it fits perfectly in my shower with this size. And I figured I need to get more, so why not get, you know, the biggest one that they had that's going to last me the longest. The last couple things that I got were some samples. I got the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer to try. I got the Escada Joyful Perfume, and then I got the Fresh Black Tea Age Cream Delay um, cream. And then I also got the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. So I got those as part of the samples, and so I'm looking forward to giving those a shot. I'll let you guys know what I think, but I'm pretty excited about this. I got a lot of stuff that I needed. got some stuff that I wanted. So if there's anything that you have any questions about, any comments or anything, let me know below or check, hit me up on Snapchat or Twitter. So until next time, everybody, stay fabulous and keep rocking.